After the Indonesian earthquake, the complete coverage by the, the media uh, really brought it home to, to everybody in the world, the sheer horrific side to the tsunami um, and, and the kind of death tolls that it can cause. In that particular case, it was about 225,000 people that died. It made us realize that the, the tsunami, the danger of tsunamis is actually very, very real. The, the capsule really is, is the uh, combination of um, some original thoughts and ideas and uh, I brought my uh, work colleague in and, and showed him and, and uh, he, he thought well that's a pretty good idea. Um, so we started putting pencil to paper and, and came up with some sketches and, and designs and, and then it kind of laid to rest until Sendai, uh, the Japanese uh, tsunami and earthquake happened. And then we realized that we need to do something. So we went on from there and, and, and progressed the design until we had something that was offerable to the general public. We start with a rolled round tube cage. Uh, it has a full penetration weld, so it's very solid. And we take the two hemispheres, we put those on top of it. We weld the, the frame to the inside of the shell, the hemispheres, and we weld the hemispheres to each other around the center. It becomes a very, water, very watertight and very durable. From all of our analysis, uh, general movement of waters in a tsunami um, at max are roughly around 23 to 25 miles an hour, which would, is how fast something would be traveling in it. Um, through our testing, we're gonna definitely prove out that this will take a 25 mile an hour impact. This is the prototype that has been um, designated Capsule 2. Uh, which will be, um, it's in, in, in its unpainted form and it's going to be used for testing. What we're offering is something that's um, relatively lightweight, very strong, uh, durable in, in thermal conditions and uh, she'll undergo um, an aerospace equivalent type test program. Um, the object of this exercise is to really instill into the uh, general public uh, a level of confidence that this capsule um, can uh, offer security in a very uh, hostile uh, environment, which is the tsunami um, wave. Modern day early warning systems can save anywhere up to 90% of the population. That final 10% are most likely going to perish. In a, a tsunami which uh, is exposing 2.5 million people, um, which is uh, more often the case, then um, that 10% becomes a quarter of a million, and that's a large number. So in order to get that 10% down to say 1 or 2%, um, this is an option. Um, the capsule you see behind me and, and uh, the capsule in, in various sizes is, is an option when it comes to reducing that percentage. This capsule um, gives people more control over their survival. It gives them uh, an option of um, having a, a security system on their own property, uh, easily accessible at day or night. It really gives the family uh, a safe security um, that they wouldn't otherwise necessarily have. This can provide, in a larger form, uh, very, very rapid evacuation to safety. Um, and, and that kind of uh, security system hasn't been provided up to now.